That was lovely, Sonia. Thank you so much. Just what I needed to relax and soothe and ground my mind and my body here today. We're going to continue to find our bodies in our comfortable seated pose, any seated pose of choice, ensuring that our tummies are tucked at our navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. This helps us relieve and ease any tension we may feel in our neck or upper shoulders. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes, taking a nice deep breath in, exhale. Breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms above our heads, flowing into a seated salute, palms, fingerprints, fingers reached up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, interlacing the fingers with the pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, our chin is up, heart chakras open, allowing the arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room, feeling this slight back bend. We're gonna hold this three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, separating those palms coming into that seated extended mountain, meaning our palms are separated. Noticing how this feels in the body as we twist towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist, optioning to take that left hand to that right knee, going deeper in that twist. We're going to soothe here for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up, breathe in. Exhale, twist to the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist opposite side. Optioning to take that right hand to that left knee, going deeper in that twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. And exhaling back to center, coming into that star. Chin is up, coming into that extended mountain, bringing those pops up above the head, but not connected yet. Connecting the palms into that salute. Exhaling down to prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center, relaxing the shoulders down with away from the ears. Taking a moment to check in with self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment. As we relax, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Relaxing the palms downward towards the earth. Our palms are connected to our yoga mat as we are tuning in with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what's going on around us right here, right now, without judging it. And during our session here today, we may hear sounds and noises. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, we are using this pose to open up our hip flexors. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So taking a notice of the two and doing which one feels best for you. Heart chakra is open, chin is up. As we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades, coming into a cow, we are in our bound 
cow pose. Still in this slight back bend, three breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cat. Our chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Our tummies are tucked at our navel. Head pose, three breaths. Two breaths. Lower back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our bound position, either diamond or butterfly, we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. When we hinge at the hips, we are going a little deeper into that hip flexor, allowing the shoulders to melt forward towards the earth, allowing that head to relax downward towards your feet. Only going down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go. Gaze in the eyes down or close in the eyes. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to a neutral position, our diamond or our butterfly. Taking our hands, bringing our knees together, coming into a staff pose. Legs are straight in front of us, parallel, side by side. Toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Tummies are tucked here at our navel. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Feeling that heart chakra open as that chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. As we get lost here in our staff pose, going inward, three breaths. Two breaths. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. We can go into a complete forward fold if we choose, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet as our head relaxes downward towards our knees. This here is a full body stretch. It is a lengthening pose. Keeping the eyes closed if we choose, we're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Pointing those toes downward towards the earth now, coming into that plantar flex, ballerina's feet, Pointing the toes downward. Two more breaths. Exhaling up to that half forward fold. Chin is up. Coming back to that staff pose. Bodies nice and elongated. As we breathe our arms above our heads, coming into that salute. Chin is up. Interlacing the fingers. Point of finger points up. Arms flow slightly towards the back. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. Three breaths. Tummy's tucked at the navel. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Relaxing those palms down their heart center. Pray your hands. Relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. Gazing forward here in our staff. Pray your hands. Taking a couple breaths. Going inward. Two more breaths. As we breathe that right foot inward, right foot is on the earth, knee is in the air. So we have that right foot flat on the earth, knee is in the air. We're going to work on our stage Marichi here. Lifting up that right arm. Leaning the body towards the left. We're going to lean forward, coming down just a little, bringing that arm down. And we're going to wrap this right arm around that right leg here. Feeling that twist. We can breathe this left knee, this left leg in if we choose, or we can keep it straight. That is an option. We can also take this left hand, bring it behind our back, and interlace our right and left fingertips. 
Whatever feels good for you, we are feeling this stretch, taking our bodies to new levels here. Three more breaths. Chin is up, or we can slightly hinge at the hips. Whatever feels best, two more breaths. I'm interlacing those fingers. We're going to unwrap that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Slightly hinging at the hips. Half forward fold. Coming to a complete forward fold. Feeling that full body stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to half. Coming to our staff pose. As we breathe that left foot. On a yoga mat, left knee is in the air. We're going to do that stage and reach the opposite side. Positioning the body to feel comfortable as we breathe that left arm up in the air. Lean the body towards the right. Lean forward, lowering that arm. And we're going to wrap this left arm around that left leg, feeling that stretch. Keeping in mind that we can breathe that right foot in if we choose. We can keep it straight. We also can take this right hand Bring it behind our backs and interlace our right and left fingertips. We can keep that chin up and that heart chakra open, or we can slightly hinge at the hips. Lowering that head down, whatever feels good for you. Three more breaths. Tummies are tucked at the navel. Two breaths. Slowly uninterlacing those fingers. We're going to unwrap that leg. Straightening it out, coming back into that staff pose. Breathing up to our salute, feeling that stretch, arms flows above the head, breathe in. Exhale the prayer, palms at heart center. Breathing to that half forward fold, slightly hinging forward. Or coming into that complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles or the feet. Head melts down, feeling this stretch, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold. Coming up to our staff pose. Bodies nice and long. Crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to come into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. Relaxing the body. We're going to drop down to our cow. Tummies come downward towards the earth. You'll feel this curvature in your back. Slightly gazing up or chin is up. Here in this cow pose, you'll feel this in your lumbar, your lower back. This is great for low back pain. We're going to hang out here. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to cat, bringing that chin to clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Tummies are tucked at the navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table. As we push our bodies up to our damn dog, gazing back at the feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice, deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Tummies are nice and tight. We're going to find pause, shifting that weight forward, coming into that high plank. We are working the upper parts of our bodies here, our arms, our black, our back blades. <sighs> Dropping down to your knees if that feels good for you. <sighs> Exhale back down, dog. Gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet to our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Feeling this full body stretch in a standing position. You'll feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings as your head melts downward towards the earth. Take a nice subtle breath here. Two more breaths. 
Exhale enough to have forward fold, back to straight, lightly gaze forward. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Noticing how that breath relaxes the body. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. <sighs> Let's make it nice and wide. Nice wide stance, wide legged, half forward fold. Feeling that stretch here behind the legs. As we flow back down to a complete forward fold, head melts down, hands connects to the ankles. <sighs> Taking a nice strong breath in. Exhale. As we are filling our body, stretch and lengthen here. Maybe we can flow into a rag doll if we choose by connecting our hands to our elbows. Feeling that nice full stretch. Optioning to rock or sway the body from side to side. Noticing that when we rock and sway, you'll feel the stretch even more behind your legs and your hamstrings. Four more breaths. We can rock or stay still. Take a nice, settled breaths. Two more. Finding pause at center, coming into a half forward fold, gaze and forward. Exhale up to our wide legged Tadasana, the palms are at our side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salutes, feeling that stretch, chin is up. Coming up on our tippy toes if we choose, feeling nice and elongated here. Interlacing the hands together. Relaxing back down on our feet. We are flat footed. Pointing our toes outward to the edges of the yoga mat. Coming into a cactus hands. Flowing into goddess stance. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Yes. Feeling the burn here. We are toning and firming. Is what we're doing. We can flow our palms above our heads. And our goddess salute. Chin is up. Exhale down the prayer, bringing those palms at heart center. Two more breaths. Feeling a burn. Exhale up to standing star, straightening those legs. Palms comes out towards the side. Heart chakra is open. Chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. With our feet grounded to the earth, we are feeling strong and powerful. We are feeling bright and open. Taking a moment to notice how we feel right here in our star. Knowing where we are and knowing where we are going. Having hope and inspiration as we shine bright and continue to grow and advance in our lives. We're going to hang out here in our standing star. Four more breaths, simply going inward, focusing on self. Chin is up. Two more breaths. And you may feel your arms starting to work and burn here. Yes, we are still firming our arms. We are firming the upper parts of our backs. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale back down to goddess stance, bending those knees, coming to those cactus hands. We're going to pulse the body up and down. We are going to work other muscles in our lower body here. Pulsing it up and down. Working at gluteus maximus, our quads, our calves. We're going to find pause just for a second. And we're going to rock that body from side to side. Noticing the different muscle groups we are working when we are rocking. Yes, we are literally toning and firming the entire lower parts of our bodies here. And our goddess, God's dance. Four more breaths, coming out whenever you need to. Staying still if you choose. 
Two more breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, wide legged forward fold. This here is a counter stretch. Head melts down, feeling it, stretching the body. Gaze in the eyes down to close in the eye. Using this wide legged forward fold to relax and soothe the muscles we just worked. Noticing how our heartbeat is starting to regulate, or it is slowing down. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Going inward. Four more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Mm. Exhale, walking the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right, building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here. Finding pause, shifting that weight forward, high plank, tummies are tight. Exhaling down to our chaturanga or our low plank, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. Coming onto our tummies, coming into a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. This is a slight back bend. Our shoulders are not shrugged. We have a control of our bodies here. Shoulders are away from the ears. Chin is up. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Gaze in the eyes down. This here is a relaxing pose. We are using this pose to regulate our heartbeat and go inwards. Here in our Sphinx pose, may we relax, silent meditation, three breaths. Two more breaths. Feel when that heartbeat regulates. Breathe in. Exhale. Flowing onto our tummies, coming into a Superman, Supergirl. Extending our arms in front of us. Our feet, our thighs are off the earth. Chin is up. This here is a slight back bend as well. We are firming our arms, the backs of our legs, our gluteus maximus, as well as our back muscles. We're going to hang out here. Three more breaths. We can act like we're flying if we choose. Well, we can stay still. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose. Yes, we're continuing to work our backs, our arms, our quads. I'm sorry, the backs of our legs and our gluteus maximus. Locust pose. Two more breaths. This is also a slight back bend. Chin is up. We're gonna hold this locust pose in the position that we are in, and we're gonna come into a sleeping locust, bringing our forehead, third eye chakra downward towards the earth, allowing the shoulder blades to melt forward. Here in our sleeping locust, we're gonna go inward, relaxing and soothing the mind and body. Our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth. With our eyes gazed down the closed, we are using this sleeping locust, this rest pose to find rest and comfort within. We are using this pose to go inward, focusing on self, right here, right now, our present moment. What we need, what we want. Five natural breaths of silence. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. 
slowly awakening from that sleeping locust, coming back up to that locust pose, lifting the body, the arms, the thighs, the feet off the earth, chin is up. Two more breaths. As we flow, we're gonna connect our right hand to our right ankle. Then we're gonna bring our left hand to our left ankle. We are now wheel pose here. Noticing how this feels within the body, the lower back. This is a little deeper of a back bend. Our chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Did I say wheel pose? I do apologize. This is a bow pose. We are in our bow pose. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale and release in the feet. Coming back to that locust pose. Feet is off the earth. Thighs off the earth. Hands off the earth. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. <sighs> Taking a breath in. Exhale, swimming the arms forward, coming back into that Superman, Supergirl. Yes, we are working our lower backs, our arms, the backs of our legs, as well as our back muscles. We are toning and firming the entire back part, parts of our bodies here. Keeping that chin up if we're able. Three more breaths. Two breaths, feeling a burn, having some fun. Bonus points here. Flow into a cobra, baby cobra. Bringing our thighs next to our torso. Slightly bending the elbows, baby cobra. And our cobra, our elbows are straighter. So baby cobra, bent elbows or cobra, straightening those elbows. Chin is up. This here is a little bit deeper of a back bend. Three breaths. Hmm. Two breaths. Flow into an up dog, untucking those toes, lifting those thighs off the earth. Chin is up. We are in that up dog. This is a deeper back bend. We are working our gluteus maximus, our backs, as well as our arms. Two more breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Pressing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. As we breathe, our right foot to our right hand, coming into that runner's lunge. Right foot, right hand, runner's lunge. Yes, gazing forward. We're gonna drop that left knee down, coming into that low lunge. <sighs> this here prepares the body for split. We can come into that crescent lunge if we choose, pushing our torso away from our thighs. Our torso comes up, breathing our arms above our head, chin is up. Crescent lunge. Feeling this in the thighs, in the hips. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, back to that runner's lunge. Exhale to pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, feeling that stretch. Head comes downward towards that knee. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, feeling the body lifting and stretch here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to runner's lunge, bending that knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, we're gonna pedal our feet left and right. Tummies are tight. Feeling the strength being built here in our arms. As we find our pause, we're going to breathe that left foot to that left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Gaze forward. We're going to lower that right knee down to the earth. 
no lunge, feeling that body prepare itself for split on the opposite side. We can push our torso away from our thigh if we choose, breathing our arms above our heads, chin is up, heart chakras open, crescent lunge. Taking a nice breath in, exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot, taking that right knee off the earth, runner's lunge. Exhale, pyramid, straightening that front leg, torso relaxing. Torso relaxes over your thigh. I apologize. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Head melts downward towards the knee. Feeling that lengthening and stretching here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back forward, run his lunge. <sighs> Breathe down, dog, gazing at the feet. <sighs> Walking on with dog, we get a pedal. Our feet left and right. Binding pause, shifting that weight forward. High plank, tummy's tight. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale, back down, dog. As we come into a dolphin, dropping down to our forearms, our buttocks is nice and high in the air as we are gazed to the back of the room, maybe walking our feet slightly closer towards our bodies here. Dolphin pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. This is a headstand prep pose. We're gonna hang out here, five breaths. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if you choose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a wide legged child's pose or puppy pose, whichever one feels best for you and your body. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth with our arms extended in front of us, making it an extended child's pose or puppy pose. Six natural breaths. Optioning to breathe our palms above our heads in the prayer hands if we choose. Three more breaths. Extending our arms back in front of us if they were in prayer hands. As we spinal wave our bodies out of our child's pose or puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torso forward and using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels as our spinal cord is waving and moving and rotating there. Feeling that spinal wave. Three more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. We're going to find our pause at center, coming into a table. Knees are hip distance apart. Drop into cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. 
Breathing that right foot to that right hand. Run his lunge. And we're going to exhale up to our warrior two. Working the lower parts of our bodies here. Warrior two. Arms to the front. Arms to the back. Heart chakras open. Chin is up. Building strength. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior, feeling that stretch, arm flows over the head, slight back bend, heart chakras open, chin is up, two more breaths, exhale, extended side angle or side angle, right arm crosses over that right thigh, extended side angle, our arm is above our head or up in the air, feeling that stretch, <sighs> Coming back to side angle, bringing that arm behind our backs if we choose. We're going to flow into a triangle, bringing this right hand downward towards our right ankle. We can option to use a yoga block if we choose. Arm is extended up in the air, triangle pose. Feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale up to warrior two. <sighs> Exhale, warrior one, twisting the body forward. Both arms are up in the air. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Twisting the body forward, wide-legged forward fold. Twisting the body, allowing that body to relax down. Soothing and relaxing. The muscles we just worked. Head melts down. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight, tummies are tight. Walking the hands forward, bringing the feet together, down dog. Gazing at the feet. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We're gonna find our pause here. We're gonna breathe our left foot to our left hand. Runners lunge, opposite side. Exhaling up to warrior two. Working the opposite sides of our body here. <sighs> Feeling the body get nice and strong. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior. Arm flows over the head, chin is up. Feeling this slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into side angle. Left arm crosses over that left thigh. Extended side angle. Breathing that arm above the head or up in the air. Feel that stretch. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to side angle, bringing that arm downward towards the back. We're gonna flow into a triangle, straightening that front leg, bringing that left hand downward towards that ankle or a yoga block. Extending that right arm up in the air, triangle pose. Still in a stretch here, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to warrior two. 
Arms to the front, arms to the back. Strengthening the lower parts of the body as we breathe to warrior one. <clears throat> Breathing to warrior one. Twisting that body forward. Both arms are up in the air. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Arms to the front, arms to the back. Twisting the body forward. Come into that wide-legged forward fold. Head melts down. Gaze in the eyes, the owner closing the eyes as we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Using this pose to regulate and soothe the heartbeat. Also, we are counter stretching and soothing the muscles we just worked. We're going to hang out here for more breaths. Mm. Let's flow into a rag doll if we choose, and maybe rock and sway the body from side to side if that feels good for you as well. We're going to hang out here for four more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Coming up to a half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. We're gonna take this left hand, bring this left hand to this right ankle. We're gonna wrap this right arm around our backs like we're doing a thread the needle, and we're gonna slightly gaze over our right shoulder. Feeling this cross body stretch. We are lengthening and strengthening the body here. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, half forward fold, gaze forward. Tummies are tight, tucked at the navel. As we breathe our right hand to our left ankle, wrapping that left arm around our backs like we're doing a thread the needle as we are gazed over that left shoulder, feeling that stretch. Cross body stretch opposite side. We are lengthening and stretching and also twisting our backs here. Three more breaths, feeling the pose. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale and back to center, coming to that half forward fold. Slightly gaze forward, backs are straight. Breathe in. Exhale. Coming down to a complete forward fold, allowing that head to melt completely down. Feeling that full body stretch. Going inward. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we walk our hands forward, bringing our feet together, coming back to our down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Coming down to our forearms, coming into a dolphin pose. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. Our thighs are slightly together. Our buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth, third eye chakra. Go ahead, connects to the yoga mat. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward, relaxing and soothing into the air. Going inward. Noticing how we feel in our moment. Being mindful of how we feel, being mindful of who we are. Always without judgment. 
May we hang out here, silent meditation. Six, natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we're going to slowly come out of this position and find any holes, any laid position, any seated position that feels good for you, may you take that hold as Sonia closes us out here today with her beautiful, beautiful music. Take a moment to find that comfortable position. If you would like, you can bring your hands to your chest or one hand to your chest, one hand to your belly. Pick a focus. Focus on your breathing, the music, or your happy place. If your mind should wander, bring your mind back to that focus. As I play the music, let the music wash over you.
slowly awaken from your comfortable position. You're laying down, slowly come up. And Vanessa, thank you very much. And I will hand it back off to you.